Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make use of mandatory response in Cobalt Toolbox. Cobalt Toolbox allows you to specify whether a question must be responded to at all times or not. For example, you want responded to fill some particular question in your form. You can make use of mandatory question so that they won't be able to move to the next question or they won't be able to save the question if the if they did not attempt or did not answer that particular question so let's dive in i'm going to click on this button and i'm going to type let me write what let me write let me use um, what is your name and I'm going to click on add question and I will select test. To make this question mandatory, what I need to do is just to click on these settings. As you can see, we have mandatory response. No is selected by default, which means that the question is not mandatory and ends can be skipped to the next question. If I select yes, it means that the question must be answered at all times. And if a response is not provided, the users will not be able to move to the next question or save. So I won't be able to save or I won't be able to move to the next question. So the custom logic is useful if you want a certain group of users to answer a particular question in your form. Let's say you want users above 18 to answer a particular question. And if answer is not provided, it will redirect the users back to the question. So I'm going to be using this later on in this video. But what I need to do is to select mandatory response as yes. So when I click on, when I click on yes, and um, I try to preview the form. Let's see what's going to happen. So if I try to save the form, you can see form contains error. Please see field mark in red, which means that this question is mandatory for me. You can see the blue tick on top of the question, which means that the question is mandatory. And hence, I can't skip this particular question. So. I'm going to add another question. Let's say country. And I'm going to use, let me use, let me use England. Um, I'm going to use USA. And I'm going to use Germany. Let me add another question, which is H. And I'm going to select number. Let me add another question, which is, do you drive? I'm going to select, select, I'm going to use select one option, which is yes or no. Now I have, let me collapse this. I have four questions. I have, what is your name, country, age, do you drive? Now, the first question is mandatory which means that I can't skip this particular question. The second question is not mandatory. You can see. The third question is not mandatory. And the fourth question is not mandatory, which means that I can skip these three questions. And if I did not attempt this particular question, if I did not fill this particular question, I won't be able to save the question but I can skip these three questions. So let's try it out. So I'm going to click on preview form. So you can see the blue tick is on what is your name, but it's not on the country, it's not on the age, and it's not on do you drive question. So it means that if I enter my name, show, and I do not attempt this question, or this question, or this third one, I can save my form. You can see form is valid. But if I make this question blank by attempt this question, you can see the field is required, which means that I can't go to the next question. 
by default. If you are using mobile device to to attempt this question, you won't be able to move to the next question. But because I'm using the web version, I can attempt the other question, but I won't be able to save the form. It will redirect me back to the first question. You can see. That is how to make use of mandatory question. I'm going to make use of custom logic question. So to make use of that, what I need to do is, okay, for example, I want, I want to ask this particular question, do you drive? I want to ask the question, I want to make it mandatory to users above 18. So if you are above 18, I want this question to be mandatory. But if you are less than 18, you can skip this particular question. So to do that, what I need to do is just to click on this GU drive. I'm going to click on the setting. And I'm going to select custom logic. You can see mandatory when this formula is true. So I'm going to be using the data column name. You can see which is this age as part of my formula. I'm going to be using it as part of my formula. So what I need to do is just to copy the data column name. And on the question, do you drive? I'm going to be using dollar sign, open curly bracket, paste the name, close the curly bracket, greater than 18. This means that this question will be mandatory to those to only those who are greater than 18 years. So if you are less than 18, you can skip this particular question. But if you are greater than 18, you won't be able to move to the next question or save the form. So let's try it out. So I'm going to click on preview. You can see on do you drive, I don't have the blue tick, which means that the question is mandatory. But if I try to enter let's say 20, the blue tick will appear on the question, do you drive? Which means that this question is mandatory to only those who are greater than 18 years. So this is mandatory. I make use of yes for this question. So I'm going to enter shale. I'm going to enter country England. I'm going to enter age 21. And this is mandatory because my age is greater than 18. If my age is less than 18, let's say my age is 17, the question, the blue tick will disappear. You can see. So the question is not mandatory. I can save the form. The form is valid. But if I use 18 years, you can see I'm still in between the age limits. So I'm going to use 20 years and the blue tick will appear. If I try to save, it will redirect me back to the question. Form contains errors. Please see fields marked in red. So I'm going to choose yes. And I'm going to click on validate. And Another important usage of custom logic is, for example, for example, okay, let me just show you. For example, I want a specific user to answer a particular question. Let's say if a respondent's name is Trump, I want to determine the country of that respondent. So I can make use of custom logic to do that. So to do that, what I need to do is to go to country question. So I'll click on the setting and on the country question, I'm going to click on custom logic. And I'm going to use this formula. Let me use dollar sign, open curly bracket. I'm going to call the data column name of the first question. So let me just clean this column name and use a name as my data column name to be easy, to make it easy. So I'm going to close this. Or you can make use of the same name. So I'm going to close with this name. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come down to this. I'll paste it there. Then I will close the curly bracket and I will say is equal to apostrophe Trump. So uh, if your name is Trump, I want to know your country. So you can see I have dollar sign, open curly bracket, 
the data column name of the name what is your name which is this and then i close the data column name then equal to whatever the respondent name is and the respondent name must be equal to trump if the respondent name from the list is equal to trump i want to determine the country of that respondent so i'm going to click on save and i'm going to click on preview you can see on the preview i have the i have the name so but on the country is not compulsory but if i enter shell is not compulsory but if i enter trump for instance let's see what's going to happen on this question you can see there's a blue tick on the country which means that the if your name is trump this particular question is mandatory for the users so that is how to make use of mandatory response in Kobo toolbox. Thank you.